The summer is halfway through, which means that you have almost no time left to hit your faraway dream destinations. Luckily, today we've prepared a list of the best tools for this job. Upcoming grand touring cars that offer sporty performance and luxurious cabins for ultimate long-distance exploration. Let's get started! Bentley Continental GT Speed The 2025 model year marks the beginning of the fourth generation of Bentley's luxury grand tour. The Bentley exec stressed that it's not just a facelift as the vehicle was thoroughly reworked, has 68% new components compared to the previous generation Continental, and boasts the most powerful powertrain of any road-going Bentley. The handcrafted newcomer is available both in the coupe and convertible variants and uses a performance hybrid powertrain, consisting of a 4-liter V8 and a 187-horsepower electric motor. With a combined output of 771 horsepower and 737 pound-feet of torque, this Grand Tour sprints from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds and boasts a top speed of 208 miles per hour. Moreover, the 400-volt electrical architecture with a 25.9 kilowatt-hour battery offers an electric-only mode that gives you 50 miles of zero-emission driving. The refreshed exterior features a front fascia with a single headlamp layout, a horizontal eyebrow above the headlamp, muscular body lines, a long bonnet, a reshaped rear end, and 22-inch wheels. The luxury Grand Touring status is backed up by the class-leading four-seat interior with quilted patterns, 20-way adjustable seats, air ionization tech, a 12.3-inch Bentley rotating display, and three audio system options. The convertible version features a seven-bow fabric roof system that can be opened or closed at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. In terms of performance, it offers a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 3.4 seconds and an electronically limited top speed of 177 miles per hour. Audi e-tron GT The 2025 iteration of Audi's electric Grand Tour brings a subtle facelift and a powertrain improvement that makes the e-tron GT worthy of the title, the most powerful Audi ever. Depending on the chosen trim variant, S, RS, and RS Performance, you can expect to gain access to 671, 845, or 912 horsepower, respectively. So, even in its base trim, you get 149 more horsepower than the previous generation sedan. This means a 0 to 62 mph time of 3.4 seconds for the base trim and a 2.5 second indicator for the range topping RS Performance trim. To match the output increase, Audi had to install more capable brakes as standard and has an optional carbon ceramic brake package if you require more braking confidence. The 2025 model also brings a 97 kilowatt hour battery pack with up to 378 miles of range and the support of 320 kilowatt charging that should get you back on your way in about 18 minutes. The smoothness of the ride was improved with a redesigned standard air suspension, while an active air suspension and four wheel steering are paid options. The exterior changes concern the grille design with trim-specific elements and a set of new 20-inch wheels. The interior changes are subtle and include a new steering wheel, upgraded seats, and an optional panoramic sunroof. Maserati Gran Cabrio the highly anticipated convertible version of Maserati's Gran Turismo has finally arrived, featuring a diverse color range and a canvas roof that unfolds in just 14 seconds. The roof comes in five different colors to complement the six available body colors. Initially offered in the Trofeo trim, the Gran Cabrio boasts the familiar 542 horsepower, twin turbocharged, 3.0 liter V6 engine, delivering power to all four wheels via an eight speed transmission. Despite the additional weight from the convertible mechanisms, it maintains impressive speed, accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and being able to reach the top speed of 196 miles per hour. Inside the Gran Cabrio features a recognizable layout with a 12.3-inch center infotainment screen and an 8.8-inch display for climate control. The driver benefits from a 12.2-inch instrument display and a range of onboard tech including Maserati Intelligent Assist with Android Auto and optional Apple CarPlay. Maserati Connect offers various connected features alongside available Level 2 driver assist. Front seat occupants enjoy a standard neck warmer with adjustable speeds, 
and an optional windstopper can be manually installed behind the front seats for added comfort. The admirers of electrified powertrains would probably be excited to find out that Maserati has beaten many luxury brands in a race toward making a true electric sports car with the drop top. For the upcoming 2025 model year, the Grand Cabrio will also be available in the Fulgare version with a triple motor electric powertrain. With one motor in the front, two motors in the back, and EV technology borrowed from Formula E racers, the Grand Cabrio Fulgare boasts a 751 horsepower output in the standard mode and 818 horsepower when max boost mode is engaged. Such performance numbers translate into a 0 to 62 mile per hour acceleration time of 2.8 seconds and a 180 mile per hour top speed. The power is drawn from a 92.5 kilowatt hour battery pack with a T-shaped arrangement that ensures a proper 50-50 weight distribution. The car's internals are running on an 800 volt architecture that needs just 20 minutes to bring the charge from 20 to 80%. The support of fast charging is a must-have feature for a performance vehicle of this class, considering that the manufacturer's estimated range is just 250 miles. Ferrari 12 Cilindri Spider For the upcoming 2025 model year, Ferrari has presented the successor to the 812 Superfast. Offered both in the coupe and convertible body styles, this model postpones the electric future and gives the petrol heads a chance to celebrate the V12 engine technology for a little bit longer. However, although it might be painful to admit, it's very likely the last front-engine V12 model by the Prancing Horse brand. Gifted with a characteristic Ferrari growl and sporting newly developed titanium connecting rods and lightweight aluminum alloy pistons, the V12 engine is the true centerpiece of this upcoming model. Capable of revving up to 9,500 RPM, the motor produces 818 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. The power is channeled through the 8-speed dual-clutch transmission, which is said to be 30% faster than its predecessor and plays a vital role in achieving the 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration in 2.9 seconds. On the outside, it seems that the Ferrari is using a slightly revised design approach, different from everything we've seen in the past years. Here, a more futuristic approach with clean body lines and sharp DRLs that resemble sharp blades. If you opt for the drop-top version of the upcoming Ferrari 12 Cilindri, you have to remember that the roof can be opened or closed in 14 seconds at speeds below 28 miles per hour. Moreover, the roof mechanism adds 132 pounds to the overall weight of the vehicle and raises it to 3,571 pounds. How do you like these vehicles so far? Of course, they're incredibly expensive, but if you had an unlimited budget, which one would you pick? Share your thoughts below as we keep rolling. Porsche 911 For 2025, we're welcoming a new iteration of the 911 Carrera 4 GTS that debuts the brand's new T-Hybrid drivetrain. Instead of a 3-liter flat 4 engine, the system relies on a 3.6-liter flat 6 engine good for 478 horses. The system incorporates an electric exhaust turbocharger and a traction motor integrated into its 8-speed PDK transmission. Both are spun by a 1.9 kilowatt-hour battery. The total output of the setup is claimed to reach 541 horses and 450 pound-feet. Since today we're talking about the roofless members of this family, the Cabriolet and Targa will focus on their performance numbers. The pair is expected to clock 0 to 60 acceleration in 3.1 seconds when equipped with a sport chrono package and a speed to a maximum of 194 miles per hour. Other novelties of the range include matrix LED headlights with 16,000 pixels, 0.4 inch lower PASM sport chassis, and new center lock wheels. The cabin offers a two seat or a two by two seat layout and brings a 12.6 infotainment cluster for the first time. Aston Martin DB12 Aston Martin Company has recently shown the successor to the iconic DB11 Grand Tour. The new DB12 is taking over the flagship position. Behind the enormous new front grille, this Aston Martin is hiding a twin-turbo engine supplied by the AMG division of Mercedes-Benz. It was tuned to put out 671 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque with an 8-speed automatic, an electronic limited-slip differential, and over 150 horsepower more than its predecessor, the new DB12 takes just 3.5 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and continue onwards to the 202 mph top speed. 
Even though DB12 has retained many similarities with the older DB11, it's hard not to notice certain design alterations, namely a larger grille, swept back headlights, a wider rear with C-shaped taillights, and a more muscular bumper. Moreover, DB12 will get 21-inch alloy rims in its standard modification. As per Aston Martin's tradition, the vehicle interior is still a fine display of wood, metal, and carbon fiber. But we have to admit it looks much more contemporary with a 10.25-inch touchscreen and such modern must-haves as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Zagato AGTZ Twintail the Italian boutique automaker Zagato was approached by the Polish marketing company La Squadra for a special commission that would pay homage to the legendary Alpine A220. Despite not claiming the Le Mans title in 1969, this racer generated a cult following mostly for its unseen short to long tail conversion. For this build, Zagato selected a modern car by Alpine and reshaped it to aerodynamic perfection. The A110 received new body panels and a one-of-a-kind twin tail design. The long tail version is reserved for track days when supreme aerodynamics is a must, while the short tail would be used for daily cruising. The underpinnings of the Alpine Grand Touring Zagato aka AGTZ have not been disclosed, but we would assume that this model is still powered by a modified version of the turbo 1.8-liter four-cylinder coupled with a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. In the Alpine A110R, this mill makes 296 horsepower and will get you to 60 in 3.9 seconds. The AGTZ Twintail will be limited to 19 units, which are about six times more expensive than the most heavily specced Alpine. Bentley Batour Convertible in the times when many luxury car makers have no issues moving their astronomically priced models and even making deep pockets wait for months for their cars to be delivered, it was quite surprising to hear the news that Bentley failed to post a sales growth record for the fifth year in a row and experienced an 11% decline in sales. To get the company finances back on track and potentially hook up buyers with unlimited budgets with a hot ride for the upcoming summer season, Bentley announced the drop-top version of their luxury Batour model. Just like its coupe sibling, the Batour Convertible puts to use the brand's iconic 6.0-liter twin-turbocharged W12 engine. Considering that Bentley is planning on retiring the W12 in the near future, the Batour Convertible, with 739 horsepower on tap, will not only be a powerful tool for open-air grand touring, but will also mark a turning point in the brand's history. The engine channels its power through an 8-speed double-clutch transmission and breathes out through a sports exhaust system. This handcrafted two-door will be strictly limited to just 16 units, and each lucky owner will get a chance to work with the Mulliner's in-house design team and create their unique ride. The customization options are endless and include, but are not limited to, a custom paint job, tonneau covers, roof materials, and rose gold treatment of interior elements. Mercedes-AMG GT63 SE Performance the lineup of sleek two-door Mercedes cars that were tuned by the AMG Performance Division has just been refreshed with a new entry. Described by the manufacturer as the quickest accelerating production coupe that the brand has produced up to date, the 2025 GT63 SE Performance is a treat for any speed-craving driver. To achieve the 2.7 0-60mph acceleration time, Mercedes used a hybrid powertrain with a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 and two auxiliary rear electric motors that are powered by a 6.1 kilowatt-hour battery. The combined output of this setup reaches 805 horsepower and 1,047 pound-feet of torque. The power is channeled through a 9-speed dual-clutch transmission and an all-wheel drive system to achieve the top speed parameter, which is slightly shy of the 200 mile per hour speed mark. The high-performance powertrain is supported by a sporty exterior design with a retractable rear wing, 20 or 21-inch wheels with carbon ceramic brakes, and a blacked-out grille with vertical slats and AMG badging. Inside, there's a 2x2 cockpit with power-adjustable sports seats, a central portrait-style display, and an extensive list of personalization options. We appreciate you watching till the very end. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to receive the latest automotive news and consider checking out related videos on the screen. 
Have a good one, and may the torque be with you.